Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through control flow statements. So basically control flow statements, you can simply say that those are nothing but decision making guys. So based on the decision like if else switch why sorry while will be while for loops and all those things comes under loops right yes so here we will be having only decision that is nothing but if if else switch and if else ladder okay else if ladder sorry okay so here we took a small example about dates days in a week okay so we took initially we initialized the value of day equal to 3 we started our html so you can say this is our global declaration guys so it can be accessed anywhere inside the program for now okay so after that you opened the head inside title you wrote something if else example you close them after that you wrote body so here you are giving if a day is equals to one or a day equal to seven those are nothing but weekends right so saturday sunday you can assume okay so today is a weekend if any one of them is true else today is not a weekend so if you observe wherever you are writing java code so this condition checking this else these both comes under java code right so those are enclosed between these things if you observe carefully so that is how the control flow or any kind of jsp file is written so java code will be enclosed in them right that's it okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the control flow statements how you can execute them and we gone through a small example okay so in the next lecture we'll be going through the loop statements guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching